Okay guys, we're gonna put the neck on now. Again, the 2014 Anur. I've cleared all the wires and cable. They're kind of looped up, so I've un messed them up, you know, put them to each side, wipe down the neck. If you leave the races, all that stays in. And then the neck is just gonna slide over the frame just like that. You're gonna take your two cross bolts and just push them through. I usually push them through this way. And that's that's good good for now. Put two washers on the first. These are kind of redundant safety feature. If somehow set screws get past the sir clip that are clipped into the neck. Then, then they, you also still have two cross bolts going through the frame. So, and once those are in, you're going to take your your set screw. Doesn't matter which way you do them, but just carefully. You don't want to force it. They should they should start in. You want to screw it in by hand till it you know till it stops. Get the other one. Light, lightly snug them up. This is a 3 8. You want to make sure the tool is all the way in there. If it's not all the way in there, when you go to torque it down, it'll strip out. So we're going to go in until the bottom kind of stops. Right there. We're going to go up to the top. We're going to firm it up. Right. Now, now we're going to put the cross bolts on. Washer. Nut. Torque these down a little bit. I like torque. So 30, 35 foot pounds is all you take, okay? Again, about 30, 35 foot pounds all those need okay now we're going to use you need to get you need a torque wrench for this I would advise so you're going to need a you try to get get it you want to get it to 90 foot pounds so I've already snugged them both up so 
I'm going to take the top one to 90. And again, you want to make sure this is fully engaged and you hit it straight or you'll strip it out. All right? So that's it. So I've got those top and bottom, 90 foot pounds. I'm going to put my sir clips back in. Again, if you're not familiar with these things, though, these are big, hefty sir clips, so they'll pop. You want to make sure, you know. snap in a groove in there and so these the upper and lower set screw can't back out So those are installed. So now that's it. Next install done. This here is for your rope glide mount. If you're going to do a rope glide, it would mount here. But again, that would be after the tree is installed. So we're going to get the we're going to get the top bearing ready. We're going to get a washer ready, and we're going to put the lower trees in. So they go with the pinch bolts facing
So they're going to kind of go like this. in now. You want to make sure if you're going to use the stock brake lines, make sure they're all inside inside the trees, inside the fork, because once you get the fork tube in there, you don't want to have to pull it back out to get the line in, because the caliper won't go through it. So just make sure all your lines are tucked up in there before you put the leg in. These are our legs. So the side with the closed part that's got a thread in it, that's the right side. So we're going to put that in. Again, push, tuck. We're going to tuck all these lines up in here. You're going to make sure the handlebar uh, cable, brake and clutch cable come through also. And I'm running air, so I want the most clearance I can get. For, so for right now, I'm going to stop it right here where it's flush with the top here. Flush with the front of this front tree. Then I'm going to tighten the lower pinch bolt down. top and the bottom because they'll kind of, you're going to leave the top loose right now. Get the other leg. Left leg has the hole in it so that the axle can go through it. Again, we're going to make sure all these lines are on the inside of the trees. If you don't do that, then they'll be out here and they can catch and pinch in these trees. You don't want that. And then you have to pull the legs back out and it's a pain in the ass. So just pay attention. Take your time. You're going to get this up to the top. Make it the same as the side. top undone. I've got the cables, brake lines, clutch line all inside here. Now I'm going to get that socket back out. Now that these are clamped here, I can tighten down this top. Again, I'm going to make sure and then I'm going to doesn't need a lot, but you know, 50 foot pounds. So a good snug. Not critical, but you you couldn't you want to have it. It's kind of hard to you got kind of have to hold it with your leg if you got bars that are in the way. So. Now, 
since I'm doing air ride, I'm going to put the uh, air fittings in. stick out past the top so you can't get the tool in there so you have to you have to wait and these are pipe threads so I mean you know 35 foot pounds you don't want to over torque it you don't want to break you don't want to break it off in there the tapered thread you want to make sure it's all gooped up with uh, tape Don't want to over torque anything. Take your time. All right, we got that. So now I'm going to put the bars. I'm going to put the bars on real quick. So that they're not flopping around. tape so I could get them back to where they were. If you're uh, if you're doing a uh, new bars then you know you're gonna kinda have to you're gonna kinda have to guess so just helps in the fairing when you put it on, especially street glides because the, the bars can't be too far forward or they'll, or they'll hit the fairing. Pinch bolts up here that we didn't that we didn't do. These are half inch bolts, so you know 50, 55 foot pounds. Just to 
Then I'm going to deal with these brake lines over here. I'm going to use the factory line. So to do that, you, you kind of have to finagle these hard lines. Put the brake bolts back up to our legs, the stock bolt. So, again, if you don't want to use the hard line, you don't have to, but you can, then you're going to have to change the brake lines. You don't have to for the length, and it clears everything. So, I've had good luck doing it this way. So, you see kind of how it's tucked up in here, in this little channel? So you want to have them bolted to the caliper so there's no stress on it. We have a hole in our tree right here. And then it'll run all the way, all the way down and through. Now I'll zip tie that in place right there, just like that. Can't see it from the back side, and the front is going to have that trim piece that covers it up. So now we got to deal with this other one. The other one. I kind of like, it'll work this way. Same concept, it kind of tucks under this little cutout. But you see how hard this pushes out here? I kind of, you know, they bent this, so you can bend it. But again, it's really, it's really easy to kink it. You don't want to kink it. So I usually just lightly push on it. Lightly push on it. Like that, and then I've got it to where it's kind of up in there and out of the way. And then I'll put another zip tie on this one. Clears, no problem. So, 
and then I'll I'll zip tie some more of this together here in a minute. But so I got it kind of mocked up just to see, check everything out, right? Everything looks good, clears. So got all my cables, lines, everything's running up like it's supposed to. Everything looks great. So. Stuff on the other side. All right. So what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, once you get, once you get all this in there like that, then when you put this trim piece on, it covers it. It just hides all the lines. You don't see it anymore. Everything goes away. You got two lines coming out under there. If you don't see this kind of like the back. The back, we've got a short neck set up, so it's blocked by the back tree, so you can't see it. over, checking it out. You can remove this clip from your ABS line. And this is your spacer also. So it goes like that with the metal part facing out toward the outside. That's for the, that size. So, um, so we've torqued down the pinch bolts, the trees, we've got the Extensions tighten down our fitting or our our, our plug in there. I've, I've dealt with the factory brake lines. Really, from this point on, um, you want to kind of check your swing rate on the wheel that I'll show you real quick. So. You're going to need the spacer from the stock wheel. Then you're going to need uh, our axle. Or if you're doing a, if you use a stock lower, you know, you use a stock axle. So I usually put some uh, anti-seize on here for ours. Put it on the threads on the end, like this. I do some anti seize on here. And then I put some grease on the on the axle shaft itself. And this is three eighths also. Swing the, we're gonna swing the wheel. Gotta drop the, uh, drop these brakes real quick. All We're going to roll it in here carefully. What we want is we want to we want to get our axle hole and our bearing lined up. So I've got a one of these lift jacks. I can kind of keep going up and eyeballing it. It looks like we're at about the right point. I'll check it with the axle. So we need to go down just a hair. So 
you want it to where, just like that, to where it just slides in there. I'm going to put the bearing ABS unit on this side, the bearing on the other. with the other side you want to be really careful. You want to find the threads. It'll kind of drop in. Then you want to take uh, and slowly turn it by hand. You want to make sure you get those first few threads going by hand. Just like this. So I've got those in by hand before I've put any kind of tool on it. We're mocking it up so I'm not going to fully install it in this video, but you want to take it 50, 50 foot pounds. I'm going to put the caliper back on. For mock up. I don't have my brake rotors on the wheel yet. I gotta switch those out. Now what I want to do is I want to get it up in the air. So now the front wheel is off the ground. And you see how it's moving real easy. And it's kind of hard to really get this because you've got cables and lines and stuff pulling. But you don't want it to swing that easy. So, so I've kind of... Uh, I kind of got to go backwards a little bit and I got to loosen these top pinch bolts because if I try to short, tighten it down without the top or the bottom pinch bolts being loose it won't move together so one of the bo bottom or the top has to be loose so you got to loosen both sides how that you see how it kind of slowed down a little over here you don't really really want to, let me go a little tighter and see if I can so you see how it stopped it didn't come back you don't want that so you need to loosen it just a hair and then a hair more So you just kind of want it to swing like that, kind of nice and easy. From the center, push it left, push it right, it should move, come back. It shouldn't slow up like you saw it doing a, a minute ago. And then you can go back and tighten those bolts back. Front pinch bolt to the tree, and then we're gonna well, then we're gonna tighten up the second nut against the against the top nut.
Again, 35, 40 foot pounds. Now we're going to run this up. Now this is a little, you know, I don't have two, two wrenches. You probably aren't going to have two wrenches, but you need to just kind of snug this one up and not turn the, the next one under it. Again, snug like, you know, just a little bit of firmness. Check it, check your swing again. Still looks great. All right. Spin the wheel, the wheel looks great. And that's, uh, that's really it, guys. I mean, now we're just gonna put the stock fairing and all that back on. So, um, I hope this was informative. And, uh, and yeah, have a great one. Thanks, guys.